Adobe InDesign is a desktop publishing program, and one of its most powerful features is managing and organizing multiple pages. One of the most important panels we will be using in InDesign is the Pages panel. This is one of the main features that makes InDesign stand out from other apps used to create layout design like Illustrator. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at the Pages panel and how to manage multiple pages in our documents. I'm going to explain exactly how the Pages panel works and how you can customize the Pages panel to make it much easier to create documents in InDesign. So let's jump into InDesign. So here I have a relatively large document for an education prospectus, which consists of over 100 pages. This is a good example of a large print document one may create using InDesign. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on the Pages panel, located here in the middle panel group. In a previous video, I recommended an InDesign workspace and demonstrated how to set it up in this way. If you don't have your workspace set up like this, you can either watch the previous video or simply come up to Window, scroll down and activate the Pages panel. Now, what I'm going to do here is click on the Pages tab and drag it out of the panel group into the middle of the screen. And what I'm going to do is click and drag on the bottom right corner and drag down to expand the panel so we can get a better look at the contents. So what is the Pages panel? Well, this panel is a visual display of all the pages you have in your document. Looking at the Pages panel here, as I scroll down, we can see at a glance the pages that make up my current document. This can also be referred to as the pagination of a document, which is the order and flow of the document. Under each page, we have a number. This can be really helpful, especially when creating multiple page documents, as it can help you navigate and organize your document especially if you're working on a large document like this. So let's open this document here, where you can have a go and see the Pages panel in action. This document can be found in the download folder that comes with this class. This download folder comes with multiple projects and a ton of assets and resources we'll be using in this course. You can find the link to acquire the folder from the description. With the download folder open, click into folder three, document samples, click into folder four, multiple spreads, Click into the booklet folder and click to open the International Nature Trust report in design document. Now for this document, I'm using the font HK Grotesque. If you've not already downloaded all the fonts from the course, this is a free font you can acquire online. To get this font, I would recommend you check out the course fonts page on the course PDF document. This is a list of all the fonts that are going to be used in this course and where to get them. Simply click on the HK Grotesque link and this will take you straight to where you can download it. Simply close this document Install the font, open it back up again, and you should be able to follow along just fine. So here we have a document with far fewer pages than the previous example. Unlike the prospectus document we just previewed, here we have a report document. Now if we come into the gray area in the panel and right click, we can see some options. From here we can customize a number of things, but the first one I want to look at is the panel options. With the panel options open, from here we can change the size of the pages. For example, I'll click into the size of the pages and set this to extra large and click OK. And now we can see the page thumbnails in the panel are much larger. This can help get a better visual representation in your pages panel. Right now we can see the spreads are on top of each other, which for a large document like this can make using the pages panel awkward. If I right click again on the gray area and this time click on view pages, if I click on view horizontally and drag the menu out a little, we can see all the pages inside the Pages panel. So in this panel, you can click on individual pages. As you do this, you will see the page turn blue. This is InDesign indicating which page you have selected. Now, one handy tip to remember is if we scroll up and down in the work area, in the Pages panel, you can then double click on the page and this will take you directly to the page in the work area. So should you have a large document and want to move to a specific page real quick, you can jump to a page like so. If we come to the bottom left of the panel, here we can see how many pages and spreads are in the dock. And over to the right, we have three buttons. The first button is edit page size. The next button is add page. And the last button is delete page. As we click on pages to select them in the pages panel, we can then do a number of things. With a page selected, we can easily change the size by clicking on one of the preset pages or click on custom. If we want to add a page, for example, after page 13, with the page selected in the Pages panel, we could click the Add Page button and a new page will be added. And we will see this present in both the Pages panel and the work area. 
So as easy as it is to add a page, it's just as easy to take them away. If we click on that new page, with the page selected, I'll hit the delete button in the pages panel and that will remove it. And the page will be removed from both the document and the pages panel. Now, if I wanted to remove two pages, we can select multiple pages here in the pages panel. So I'll click on page eight, hold shift and click on page nine. And now I have two pages selected. With them selected, if I hit the delete button in the pages panel, that will remove them. Now, another thing to keep in mind is you can use the pages panel to move your pages around in your document. For example, if I click on page 10, press and hold shift and click on page 11 to select multiple. With them both selected, I can click and drag them across. And when I see a line after a spread and release, this will move the spread to the next place in the document. So that is how you can quickly select pages, add pages, remove pages and move pages around in your document. Now, as well as managing pages, there is another important feature that can be managed here in the pages panel, and that is parent pages, previously referred to as master pages. Parent pages is one of the most sought after features that InDesign offers and can really help speed up and manage repetitive elements in a multi-page document. If we look closely at the page thumbnails in the pages panel, as well as page numbers on the bottom, on the top of each page, we can see some letters. This represents the parent pages applied to them. If we come to the top of the pages panel, we can see here there is a thin gray line just above the pages. If we click this, we can drag it down. And here is where we can see our parent pages. Like below, here we have a visual representation of them. Currently, I have some parent pages set up in my document, but like pages, you can create as many as you need. Now, like pages, you can click on these. And if we double click on them, InDesign will move into a different view. Here we are no longer looking at the page layout, but now the parent page layout and what it contains. Here you can see there are some visual elements. As mentioned earlier, parent pages are really helpful for repetitive elements in your pages. For example, here we have the page numbers and some other small details. To exit out of the parent page view, we can simply double click on the document page thumbnail below and we will go back to the page view. So this is a pretty important panel and will take up a fair bit of screen space to see your thumbs. What I'll do here is click on the tab and drag it into the left side of my panel menu to pop it out with the others. Now, if I click to expand, I can drag the bottom left panel and drag out and down like so to make this panel a lot larger. So now every time I click on that icon, it will expand and contract and remember the size I set it to, easy. So this is how I would recommend you manage your pages panel in InDesign but this can get a little annoying sometimes, having to constantly click on and off the icon. One issue I sometimes face when using the pages panel is when creating large documents, there can be a lot of pages and it can be really helpful to see the entire pagination at a glance. This is where having a double monitor setup can really help. So here I have a very large document I created previously for a client. When working in InDesign, I will often drag my pages panel out of my main interface and place it into another monitor and expand the entire panel out to the size of the screen. When I'm working on a large document with lots of pages, I can have one monitor with my workspace nice and clear and then also see the entire pagination easily to the left or right of me. Here I can easily double click on pages to jump straight to them, all while keeping my workspace clear. This makes the entire workflow much easier having a double screen setup when working on large documents. And of course, where you place your panel, your workspace will remember it. So if you have more than one monitor, I would highly recommend placing your pages panel on another screen. So that's a brief introduction to the pages panel. Now we will be going into how to manage and use pages in more depth later in the course. But for now, this is good to know to get you started. So over the past few videos, we have focused on the links and the pages panel, which are fundamental to your workflow in InDesign but there are lots of other key panels to be aware of. In the next video, we are going to look at some other key panels we will want to keep in mind and be aware of when using InDesign before we start getting hands-on. So see you in the next video.